We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to use the semantic help tool that comes with the product in case you want to troubleshoot some issues. So click on the upper left hand corner, click on the technical support, and then click semantic help tool. Now from here it's going to try to install the uh, or download the latest one that may take anywhere from a couple of minutes to you know 10 15 minutes depending on your speed i've already in, uh, downloaded it earlier so that way we can speed things up so i accept the end user license agreement and now it's creating a database all right so we're going to go ahead and click on scan for the most common issues and down here you can see how much memory we have hard drive space etc so let's go ahead and click scan and scan so this can take a few minutes we'll go ahead and fast forward that all right our scan has completed so we'll go ahead take a look at it and you can see all different kinds of problems with this particular server and when you click on each one of them, you can click for a solution, if you'd like, that takes you to a web page where it will hopefully give you the answer. It's not going to give you the answer all the time, however, as some uh, issues are still going to be new in Backup Exec 2014. And it may take a little bit of time to uh, come up with those particular things. Each one of them has a link as well, so you can click on the link directly and uh, here's for instance robotic library issue and it tells you how to fix that particular issue here's our initial issue it's basically the same thing now it, it, this isn't a perfect tool i don't have a robotic library on this particular server so it doesn't really you know help me so i'm going to just ignore those particular errors if you see something in green then you're fine uh, this is information um, as well that has question marks next to it and some of them are going to be kind of odd issues such as Microsoft Exchange Information Store databases. Oh, I don't have any information exchange information stores in this particular server. So if you scroll down you'll see some information on the backup exec agent for Windows as well. All right. Now, if we want, another uh, information thing that might be useful for you is to collect data for a support case. So the support person will tell you which boxes to check. Let's just go ahead and click Backup Exec Server, since we don't want to do too much. And then Standard Data for Support. And then uh, you can choose any or all this information. I'm just going to go with the default and it's going to run through some checks. It won't be quite as long as the last one that chooses the most common issues. There's only 15 scripts that it's going to run instead of 55. All right, so the file has uh, finished being created and from here we can put in our customer information if they want us to put that information here and then the case number, etc. And then we can click uh, when done, save and send to semantic support. If you just want to open the file location itself, you can just click on it and you can grab the file uh, rather than sending it and you can look at it yourself.